David Trudinik sort of supports um, NHS funded homeopathy. Yeah, he comes out with lunacy like, you know, you shouldn't operate when there's a full moon because the blood won't clot. You know, he believes that astrologers should have a say in how people get you know, NHS treatment. And, you know, he wants to equip doctors with astrology charts, effectively saying, you know, well, you, know, you can't properly diagnose and treat a patient unless you know under what stars I'm David Trudini is somebody I've crossed swords with on a number of occasions uh, on some of these issues. And it, you know, frankly does worry me because he's on the Health Select Committee driving what happens for our nation's healthcare. Uh, he and I have very different views about how much you should have things that work as part of that mix. There are very few David Trudinics in politics, but there's a wider problem uh, which is indifference to science. Ignorance in the sense of just not knowing about it. They're just very scared of science, as most people are. Most people have had bad experiences of science at school and through life, and they've kind of kept their distance from it. But whereas for most people, it doesn't really matter. For the MPs, it kind of is important to all of us that they kind of square up to science. public would, should be in despair, highly critical if uh, evidence was not the basis for the decision. I campaign for people to vote against politicians who don't base their policy on the best available evidence. But do you think that there's anything where policy is clearly out of the side where it really just isn't based on facts? Oh, I mean, there, there, there are lots and lots and lots of things. how many letters you have after your name. In science, we want to know what your reasons are for believing something. How do you know that something is good for us or bad for us? What is evidence? How does it work? How do you think about these things? Evidence is something that, that most people value mm. and certainly should value. We do have like a rigorous testing system for drugs. We do yeah. really make yeah. sure they yeah. work. But we don't quite do that with policy. What do we want when we're making policy? We want the best evidence possible before we implement it or after we've implemented it we want to check if it's working or not. Otherwise we're basing policy on ignorance and that is not what we want to do.